Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I want to show you how to create a block using nothing but shapes and some of the built-in designs that are in the built-in stitches from the decorative stitches on the embroidery side of the luminaire. I cannot claim credit for this. There's a member of our group in the Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group that came up with an idea. And my design is slightly different than hers because I could not find the stitch that she used where I have the great stitches here. So let me zoom in so you can kind of get an idea of, of what's going on with this design. And we'll choose clothes. I want to go ahead and group everything together so that I can delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, the first thing we did is select a frame and I chose a nine and a half by nine and a half. And by the way, this is uh, Josephine's block because she was the one that created this. I don't know if I mentioned that a moment ago. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the first design. And the reason we're setting this is because we want to be able to create some echo quilting around it. So we'll choose edit and we'll resize it because it's a shape. You don't have to worry about which method of resizing that you select. And I'll choose something that looks good and I'll choose okay. Now what I want to do is to select the stipple icon, but we're going to do echo quilting. And you may have to wait a moment while your machine thinks because it is going to go through the hoop selections and fill the screen with those echo quilts quilting designs, what I want to do is get to the eight by eight frame. So we'll wait a moment while it goes through that process. And we're almost there. And let's keep continue. And here's the eight by eight. Now, what she had was a another border on the outside of this. You can change the spacing of this. For instance, if I want to increase the spacing of this so I have fewer echo lines, I can do that. And we'll go ahead and choose that. Because this isn't exactly identical to hers. We'll choose OK. Now let's add the border on the outside and we'll choose Add. And we'll go to the border function and choose the square and she chose number nine and choose set. And we need to go in and resize that. So go to edit and choose size and increase this. This was the external border and it really looked cute the way hers stitched out. So I believe that that's lined up correctly. We'll just go with that because I don't want this video to be too long for you and we'll choose okay. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll choose add and we'll go into category five and we want to go down and select the little rose bud that she had in the center. And I believe it's right here, 161 and we'll choose set. I'll leave it at that size. We'll choose add again. And in this case, she added another border and it was number eight again, I believe. And we'll leave it at that size. Now she added a stitch that I believe was a series of about eight stitches that she uh, duplicated and she rotated them so they would fit together, but I'm not sure what stitch it was, or that's what I'm guessing she did. I'll choose a stitch though, and we'll just use it. And let's go in and let's find a little pattern and we will choose this little grapevine and we'll choose set. Now I want to move this out a little bit. So let's go to edit and move it out a little bit to the side so we can see it. And then what we're going to do is we'll resize it. So I'll go to size and I'm going to move this down a little bit and by selecting the method on the right, and I'll just make this, and you notice it moves it to the center. So that's okay. 
I'll just make it like 1.48 by 0.63 and we'll just move it back now. Now this may be smaller than what she had, but we'll go with this and let's rotate it. And now what I want to do is duplicate it and we'll take this other design and we'll rotate it and I'll move it back about 10 degrees or so at a time, but not 10 degrees. And I can move it in place. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to look at where the other design is and more or less line it up. And what I want to do is to make this easy on myself. I want to get four of these designs duplicated so I don't have to do so much moving things around. So we'll go ahead and duplicate it one more time. We'll move it up here and rotate it again. And we'll move that one. And let's mirror image that and see what happens. I don't care for that. So we'll bring it back. Let's rotate it again. There we go, that's what I want. And I want to add one more. So I'll choose okay and we'll add one more. We'll move this over and we'll rotate it. And let's add one more. And we'll rotate that. And then we'll add three more at the bottom. Now, if I had left it larger, what I could have done is group three of these together and duplicate it. In fact, I'll do that right now. So let me show you how to do that. What we'll do is we'll go to group, but what we want to do is select the design we want to group. So what I'm doing is going through the selection process to select each design. And as I see a little red box around it, I'll choose set. And then I want to select the next one and choose set and select the next one and choose set. Now that I have those grouped together, I can duplicate that. And then we'll go ahead and select the group icon and we'll rotate this 90 degrees and we'll move it down to the bottom. Okay, you would want to, you know, work with your design a bit and get everything lined up to your satisfaction. But we'll go ahead and leave it at this. Let's look, zoom in so we can see what it looks like. And this is how the block was created. I hope this video is helpful to you. Join us with the Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. And thank you so much for your time today. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And Josephine, thank you for your idea.